Right, let's do this. Come in here. Door doesn't open straight away. You have to actually go into the uh, inventory and find the seal in there. Then you can just wander through. There's a lot more Tesla coils, and there is also not Nexus, but Darius. That's the whole place, basically. Um, just lots of Tesla coils and these weird whirly things. I'm not sure what to call them. So here we go. Um, find out what happened to him after all the sorcerers got dispersed. So he's been waiting for you to just show up with the rings, basically. Um, although it's worth noting that he's never actually here unless you actually have all the rings. You can't just go and grab the Holy Seal and find him. Um, then he runs through what all the others did, even though you know. And he still doesn't elaborate much on the Yopper thing. He seems quite convinced that he was going to give the ring to Cathedral too. Um, Fezzik, who was with him a lot apparently during Mind, was in on it. He did a similar thing waiting for the gems to turn up. Rokus, we, I don't think I've ever actually showed him on screen. He's just in the corner of the lobot lobotomy club and doesn't actually say anything useful. So, uh, yeah, he wasn't really expecting you to grab all the rings yourself. But apparently you know of some powers that the rings have that can stop him, which is news to me. But there is a trick up his sleeve. Sleeve spelt with an A for some reason. He's allied with Void. Of course he is. And now we have uh, the final battle here. Here we go. We're on a... We're a fair match, I'd say. Obviously we're not. They're pretty much all on the top... Oh, Yeah, scary uh, master spell. Ours is different. Ours is Thalmus, I think, when we use it. And it decimates us, basically. Strongest spell in the game there. Um, I'm hoping we can get a few spells off before... I don't think either of these are useful. Um, I, I don't want them to have another go before we get round to Mortimer, because I think we're definitely needing a good healing session. What's Mirage doing? Oh, I can't use it. Brilliant. Um, now, do we go for... I think Perfect is a single target one, so... Best bet is probably... Health's the one that is like a frenzy, isn't it? Yeah. Probably the best we're going to get. Oh. Brilliant, that's fine. I'm really hoping they don't use another big top spell. Uh, go for a delete here, I guess. Wave's fine. Would be nice to get take out that enchanter. Um, we can't use any of these now. Oh, we can use master. Uh, this isn't the same as. Oh, that was. I, sh I shouldn't test out spells in this fight, but Sorcerer's version of Master, obviously a lot better. I won't use Modify because that's just going to make it too easy. But a weakened Frenzy is a bit pointless as well. Uh, at least we've taken out that Enchanter. Um, dice is fine. 
No! Ah, oh, you ha he had like he had just over a bar left. Oh. Oh wow, I can't believe anyone survived that. Not for long though. Yeah, horrible fight. Um You've just gotta hope the game doesn't side with them basically. Um let's give that another go. Right. I've lost count of what try this is now. We're on like seventeen or something. Uh he's always gonna use master, regardless of what happens. He it's in his code, I think, to just do this even when he hasn't got enough magic points for it. Um They have different attack routes that you can normally tell what, what's going to happen depending on what they cast first. And this is a new one, I have to admit. Will I get lucky? Probably not. But I'm going to berserk just in case. Right. Brilliant. I'm hoping that Mortimer will go next. So I can do a bit of healing at least. Delete has served me very well lately. Yes, excellent. Health. Doesn't do an awful lot, but it, it it's enough. Might be able to survive a reasonable attack at least. And an unblocked frenzy. This is the first for this fight as well. Doesn't do as much as his frenzy, of course, but you know. Oh, right, he didn't die after all. I got a bit confused there. Blaze. This could be the lucky one. Yes, we got rid of thingy. Oh, we're so close. Right. Um, I'm actually surprised. I wasn't expecting to do this. Let's play it safe with Brand. Yes! It's over. Ah. Oh. That that was seriously like getting on my 20th try. I, I And Buck flies away. From the Book of Buck. So it was that the victorious sorcerer Buck of the Academy of Mind did defeat the evil Void. With Void's vessel on this earth destroyed this world destroyed. The deceiver did flee forever. Buck then passed through the fount of heaven, bearing the holy seal of Nexus. The mighty Nexus looked down upon his home and saw that Buck had brought all eleven rings of power into his presence. The prophecy fulfilled, Nexus did transport Buck and the rings to his realm. Once in the majestic realm of Nexus, Buck willingly gave all eleven rings of power to the great being. In response to this gesture, Nexus restored the rings to their original form as the rod of creation, and returned it to Buck. And then a great voice filled Buck's head. Welcome to my realm, Buck. You alone and your ra you alone of your race have shown the purity and courage to reclaim all the rings of power and return them to me. My brother Void has fled this world, and I must follow. He and I are but two sides of the same coin. As much as he hates me, he cannot destroy me. I will ensure that Void does not return here. Some day it may be that we will join again and become that which we once were, greater and at peace. You have proved your worthiness, and I shall leave the rod of creation in your trust. Use it wisely to rule your people. It upsets the balance between my brother and I, and we are better off without it. Good luck to you and your world. With this, the being Nexus departed this dimension in pursuit of his brother. And so Buck too left the realm of Nexus, and returned to his world. There he used the power of the Rod of Creation to build a mighty palace where the Fount of Heaven once stood. From that palace he would direct the destiny of his world. Picture of Buck. Uh, it's never made clear up to now that Nexus and Void are brothers, but I guess it's kind of... like some symbolic message or uh, something like that. So Buck transfers the rings to Nexus, who is just kind of not reacting in the slightest but I 
I guess he wouldn't. It'd be a bit creepy if he did. Just see the eyes blinking. And we get the rod. Which has 11 little bumps on it which represent the rings, I guess. Buck flies down, and I think this is where you see a huge buck face. Oh, no, not yet. Fall into a castle, which I guess is the Fountain of Heaven. Now I think you can see the buck face. There we go. It's not very... It's creepier than Void, definitely. Nightmare fuel. The, uh... Couldn't really get decent facial animation these days. I guess. And fireworks. Um, different types of flag on there. All over the place for some reason. Um, and credits. Okay. Um, that's been Rings of Power. I wasn't prepared for that in the slightest. I thought I, I'm amazed the final battle went that quickly in the end. But it's been a fun ride. I, I've enjoyed playing the game again. It's it's amazing what you forget. I, I, it is a big game to be fair, but a couple of years away from it, and you seem to forget half the story and half where the rings are. Um, I like how it has little subheadings under these. I'm just making it a bit more obvious for you. So, um, what's coming next? Um, my head for, my headset's a bit screwed up at the moment. Uh, it started breaking around part 34, I think. I've had to do a few, I mean, you'll know if you saw the other parts that I've done, post-commentary bits, where the headset weirded out, and it, it was either that or crackly noise all the way through, which isn't too great. So, um, can't, I can't actually get a new headset for a few weeks, which is a bit annoying. So I don't want to go straight into another project, so I'll just sort of take my time preparing for it. In the meantime, what I do want to do, and seeing as I'm not in any rush, I don't mind doing this with the broken headset, is to... I want to refight Darius at some point in this, and... Um, but basically I'm going to do it at the top, at the top level. So um, I'll be able to use Master and show off all the top spells. Um, wow, they had text, be text talk in that, those days. I, I see the thanks with a X for no reason at all. Um, sorry. Distractions. Um, also, I want to do a full showing off of all the spells. Um, I'll probably run through the Darius fight again and do that. That'll be something, I guess, a proper spell guide. Because um, I didn't, by, not by no means did I show off all the spells in this game. I didn't even come close, I don't think. I was aiming to, but it just gets a bit awkward when you're getting spells from different levels early on. Um... Also, I want to do a trading guide, which shouldn't take too long, but show you what to sell and where to do it. After that, I don't know what's... Ah. Ah, horrible feedback noise. You have the run of the world. All that you see is your responsibility. And this is our palace, which, surprise, surprise, is no different looking. Oh. Um, so, yeah, if you open up your rings, you now have the rule of creation. What does it do? Absolutely nothing. Even though you have free reign of the world again, that's pretty much it. You can't actually do anything else. Nothing else opens up from what I'm aware. No secrets or anything, so that's officially the end of the game. So, um, as I said, it's been fun. Thank you very much for watching up to this point, And um, I will see you next time, well, I, I will see you next time for the rematch against Darius at top level, so see you for that.